The next thing I want to talk about is backplotting. Backplotting is very similar to verifying the operations, but it shows a little bit um, more detail in specific areas. There's a couple of different ways to do the backplotting. One, um, you can select this um, symbol here, which will back, it'll do the backplot of the selected operations, or you could see the same symbol for each specific operation. And so if you had all operations selected and click the black plot, then it would show everything. Notice I have a few things already highlighted here. Um, I can unhighlight all of these things. And I want to show you um, what each one does. So the first, the first guy here, um, we don't need to worry about the color codes, but the first is the, the display the tool. And so if I click here, it will actually show the tool. That's going to be the drill bit. And you can display the holder. That's not really necessary. We can um, have the holder there. Um, display rapid moves. This will display when the actual drill bit, in this case, would jump from one hole to another. It actually moves faster across the, the, the bed of the mill, moves a lot faster during that period of time. Um, you can display the endpoints. That's where um, it actually goes in and comes back out and reaches that point before it goes to a rapid move. And then the quick verify actually kind of leaves a shadow of where the tool has been. So to kind of show you what's happening here, if I select all those um, and then go up here and hit play, it actually kind of plays through the movement of the bit. You can kind of see how that is moving through the operation. So what happens after this is we switch to now an end mill, and you can kind of see how it's going to move. Okay, And those lines represent the rapid moves. These little dots are the endpoints, and so that's basically as it goes, retracts from the drilling, reaches the height in, in this case, I think it was set to 200 thousandths, or 0.2 inches above the surface of the stock. And then it does a rapid move to the next hole. And the same thing occurs when you're doing the actual contours in here. And so that can be useful in determining how, if, if it's actually moving in the way you think it's going to be moving. Another thing that I want to talk about while we have the, the, this, um, the uh, I guess another feature of the back plot, if you hit the double arrow down, you can actually get some info on the operation. And so basically what it will tell you is the time it takes to actually drill everything. And here it's one minute and um, seven seconds is basically the time it's going to take to drill all of these holes. Notice most of the time is actually um, doing the feed as it goes down and up, and then the rapids are pretty quick. Okay. Um, if we go to the actual, um, go to the contour and look at the info there, it's going to take about 43 seconds or, um, to do everything. Um, again, that's assuming that you're running the mill at the speed, at the 100% at the speed, and that can be adjusted at the mill. Um, and sometimes we run a little bit slower. Most of the time we run a little bit slower. On some occasions we might push it and go a little bit faster if we have a, a very rigidly held piece, etc. Sometimes when the pieces aren't held very rigidly just because of their nature, we'll slow things down to protect the bits and things like that. So um, the, the back plots are a pretty useful thing if you're unsure of exactly how things are moving and if it's doing what you think it's going to want, if it's doing what you want it to do.